Ooh, it's finally time for the Halloween themed hippo. Today's video is sort of related to horror, I suppose, so uh, enjoy this quick one. Horror Club is a fairly simple episode of Steven Universe, but definitely covers a topic that I myself am pretty fond of in all due respect. This episode takes place in season one, so the two characters, Sadie's and Lars specific, uh, specifically, uh, their relationship is not at what it will be at the end of the show, but it's still a nice trip down memory lane back to 2015. While this episode is mainly to showcase a meeting between some of the people Stephen has become to befriend, there is also a theme of closure, which I think is a nice topic, especially for a show like Steven Universe. Basically, Lars and Ronaldo, two friends of Steven, have a pretty rough past. We see a glimpse of it, and it's quite frankly a trivial conflict where they just got mad at each other for like uh, taking a picture and ripping it apart and blah blah blah. And ever since then, things have been awkward for them, and we see this clearly in this episode when they meet for the first time and what seems like a while there are there are most likely better episodes in other shows that handle this topic better but this is like one of the only ones i've seen and i know of so and it's related to halloween so i thought it'd be cool to you know bring it up at least now relationships aren't meant to last forever people don't want to hear it but it is just true that's why the phrase best friends don't really exist for most people past the age of 16 there's people we consider to be good people and people that really are important to us but the best like a best friend or best people it, that just doesn't really exist nowadays but anyway yeah friends move on after some time it doesn't have to be from a fight it could just be just lack of chemistry or lack of effort or etc etc isn't anyone's fault exactly and it just sort of happens for me i try to view relationships any kind really uh view it as any household object really i'm gonna choose what a, a, a pencil i have a pencil right here this pencil that i am holding in my hand right now is a person i have a connection with them we talk blah 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 and at some point the tip of the pencil may break and if i put in the effort to sharpen the pencil then the relationship will most likely restore sometimes it won't uh the pencil sharpener got jammed or whatever my point is that, yeah, things are unexpected as the world is, and understanding that people are just people, or pencils is in this case, then you can understand that at some point, people get bored and may move on. Doesn't mean you have to be a piece of them or, you know, be annoying. They are just another person, another stranger to you at the end of the day. If I wouldn't talk harshly to a random person on the street, then I'm not going to talk harshly about someone that I used to know in the past. Dang, that was a pretty good metaphor with the pencil. But also, I think it's nice that Ronaldo and Lars, at the end of the episode, did find a little bit of closure. It wasn't anything magnificent, but it was something so I can appreciate that. And I feel like in real life, getting that closure from someone is an awkward pain off your chest for some people, for sure. But yeah, let me know if you guys know any episodes and animation that cover this topic a little bit more, and maybe I'll cover them in the future because I think I am kind of fond of this topic, to be honest, and just the whole, you know, psyche of it, but I haven't seen much about it, so it'd be nice to see or just hear what you guys have to say. Holy, that was a rant, but yeah, that was all I got. That's all I got for today. Overall, this episode was a solid 3 out of 10. Not scary whatsoever, but a topic brought up that I find interesting nonetheless. Next week, we'll cover some actual scary stuff. Don't worry, but have a great rest of your weekend, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.